So first tonight, the policeman in charge of West Yorkshire's armed officers says it's only a matter of time before there's a terror attack here. It comes as figures show a significant rise in the number of gun-related crimes. In West Yorkshire, possession-related firearms offences have risen by 80% over the last five years. That's an increase from 322 offences to 580. And in the same time period, there's been a 70% increase in the number of firearms recovered. BBC Yorkshire's been given unprecedented access to the firearms team as they tackle the growing problem of violent crime. Phil Bobmer has the details. Units moving forward now, uh, about 200 yards. Uh, Police responding to reports of a gunman on the streets of Leeds. And police, get on the floor! The suspect is quickly surrounded by armed officers and Keep soon going. complies. Keep looking at me, don't make any sudden movements, you understand? This is the day-to-day -day reality of armed policing. A pistol, which turns out to be an imitation, is then retrieved from the man's pocket. Nightfall in Huddersfield. An armed operation is being planned. Those involved are being briefed about a potentially dangerous deployment. I will be commanding this firearms operation. Intention then is to recover the, the firearm. In the dead of night, a police convoy, including a bulletproof vehicle, snakes through Huddersfield town centre. This individual, albeit very young, um, we know has got significant links to organised uh, criminal gangs within the Huddersfield area, um, significant intelligence uh, to connections to firearms. So for me, the threat is so much so that for me, we couldn't allow officers in an unarmed capacity to attend. Once in position and ready, the armed units go straight in. We've seen a rise in the availability of firearms for use by criminals. I don't think there are hundreds and hundreds of weapons out there, but those weapons are more available and they're getting circulated uh, amongst criminals. Last year here in West Yorkshire, police carried out almost 900 armed operations. That's an average of two or three deployments every single day where police carrying weapons are needed. Halifax, in the early hours of an autumn morning. A man with a history of violence is wanted for a call to prison. Police! Police, put your hands up! Show your hands up! Now. But the risk is such, armed units are sent to make the arrest. Once seized, all weapons are taken to an evidence store before being cut up and melted down. Inside the safe, some of the most lethal firearms ever made. This is an AK-47 variant. It is, to all intents and purposes, an automatic weapon, a machine gun, because the range of the discharge would be considerably more, so the bullet would travel, in effect, far further than, than a shotgun discharge. Um, but also the penetrative power of the ammunition as well, considerably more than, um, say, a 9mm pistol or a sawn-off shotgun. In 2015, the government set aside £144 million to recruit 1,500 more firearms officers by 2020 but that target may be missed. Earlier this month, the government published its long-awaited review into the use of police firearms, commissioned to address concerns officers didn't feel supported in the rare event of shooting a suspect. But the union which represents rank-and-file police describes it as shambolic, a review that appears to have been written on the back of a cigarette packet. How this will enable us to recruit the numbers we need to mitigate the terror risk and violent crime is not clear. Chapel Town area on this ward. In response, the Home Office says it's disappointing that challenges facing the police have meant the targets agreed have not yet been delivered. Capability is machetes, knives and iron bars. Intent at this time will be to uh, evade arrest. Alongside the continuing fight against organised crime comes the ever-present threat of a terror attack on the streets of Yorkshire. I would potentially think it's going to happen in West Yorkshire, but in the same way we have prepared for that so there are i am confident that if it happened in one of our cities we'd have armed officers there within 15 minutes with gun and knife crime on the rise a terror threat at severe and vacancies to be filled the challenge will be finding enough volunteers to keep the thin blue line from being stretched even thinner phil bodmer bbc look north west yorkshire